So I wanted to make a wet shave video today and I thought I was going to be able to, but she really doesn't need wet shaved and I really don't want to shave her bald if I don't have to. Um, so I'm just kind of working through her coat, but I did find in her ears some really disgustingness. So I wish this would show me how to turn it around, but it doesn't. Anyway, this was in her ear. One whole disgusting matte waxy grossness and this is what she looks like now which I realize is disgusting and messy but she'll be she'll be cute enough when she's done but I wanted to show you the how I got that mat out of there because I mean I don't know if groomers would just grab a hold of that chunk and rip it out but I'm not about that. So I'm trying to work around the wax ball and pull it out that way. I really hope that there is a way I can put my phone where you can see it, how I do it. I really need a, a what is that thing? A GoPro, I need one of those. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to put the phone where you can see it, sort of. Um, I hope you can see it, I don't even know. And I can't turn the camera around because it doesn't give me that option anymore. Oh my god. This is terrible. Oh wait, maybe this will just sit right here. Okay. Alright, I'm going to try to hold my hand out of the way so that you can see it. But, can you see the waxy matte ball there? So, Again, I'm going to kind of just pull her ear back and kind of move the mat ball out of the way with my finger and go behind it and just pull things out, obviously without pinching her ear, because I just don't want to pull that whole big piece out because I can just imagine that that would hurt even that I don't like that so I'm just trying to work it out back behind it and you just have to move it around and I know some people might be gross about touching it but see I got some there that came down and out so I just keep moving it out of the way and grabbing on to stuff and see she it feels good she's kind of tilting her head I, and I bet this dog could not hear very well at all because she it's just it's the shape of her ear canal I don't know if you can see that or not but it's literally the shape of her ear canal so again I'm not a fan of pluck honey I don't really think you can lay down you're gonna have to stand up um I'm not really a fan of super plucking ears to where there's no hair in there and everybody has their own opinion and that's fine. I'm just not a super fan of it. But sometimes you have to do it so that it doesn't get like this. And I have a sneaking suspicion. See, even as hard as I'm pulling it, she's not crying. She's actually acting like it feels good. But I just don't want to pull that hard. I'm I don't want to damage her ear, but this is like some of the worst earwax buildup and mat that I've ever seen, even on neglected homeless dogs. So I'm just really trying to work it out. And I have a sneaking suspicion she has ear infections underneath all this because I can smell it for one, and for two, there's no way she's got all that junk in there and see how I'm kind of I've got some of it out there's no way that she's had all this junk caught in there and doesn't have an ear infection even if she didn't before so after you pluck an ear like this you have to make sure you clean it very very well because you literally do cause little, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the last pull, I think. And that was in her ear. Yep, gross. 
Anyway, you cause little micro traumas to each hair follicle when you pull it. And I mean, that literally, that last pull, sorry, that's hurt your canal now. Whereas before, you couldn't see anything in there. And it is a little red, um, and it definitely will be. Um, so after you pluck ears, anytime but especially like that because you cause little micro traumas you want to make sure you clean the ear really really well to disinfect the inside of the ear i wouldn't use something super harsh because it's going to burn no matter what you do but you have to clean it so that it doesn't get infected even worse or if by some miracle it wasn't infected you you don't want it to get infected so just make sure you clean them really good and make sure you tell the pet parent that we need to groom more often because that kind of crap happens. Anyway, wish me luck on the rest of her. Bye.